Good morning. Today I'm going to give a brief overview and my initial experience of using iClone 8 and AccuFace together with OptiTrack for animated feature films at a AAA film studio. I'm currently working at a film studio in Sweden, producing a 3D animated feature film. For this film, we're experimenting with new types of workflows for creating the motion capture. And for this, I'm currently leading the exploration of iClone and how we can use iClone and AccuFace uh, to bring our characters to life in a very quick and efficient way. The studio is filled with super talented people and they're already working with OptiTrack an optical tracking system in which they're recording directly into Motive. So after experimenting for a few months and now finally getting some really awesome results, as of now I will just talk about my experience of using it and how you could utilize it for your feature film projects. So firstly, for some context, I will quickly go over how everything is set up so you will have a better understanding of how we're using the tools and what we're using. The environments we're using are built in Unreal Engine 5. The body is using the OptiTrack system and their uh, bodysuit. This uses optical trackers, which then goes into Motive. This data is then live streamed into Motion Live using the OptiTrack plugin. The actor on set has a helmet that is holding an iPhone 12 mini. The iPhone 12 is both recording into the Blackmagic camera app as well as outputting clean HDMI to a Paralynx Arrow Plus, uh, which is a wireless HDMI uh, transmitter and receiver. This Paralynx uh, transmitter and receiver is on the higher end spectrum of receivers. However, you could also use a Teradex Spark 4K, for example, or the newly announced Hollyland Mars 400S Pro 2 uh, for a fraction of the price although with a bit higher uh, latency. This HDMI feed is then input into the computer using a very simple HDMI to USB-C uh, capture card. AccuFace could directly take the signal from the USB inputs and it recognized it as a web camera. I think everyone was really pleasantly surprised at how easy and efficient it was to use iClone and OptiTrack at the same time. And it was very nice to see the character in real time, so the actor could try out different body languages and also see the face in real time to try out different facial expressions and stuff. We also just had one actor uh, playing the five different characters in this scene, and it was very quick to just change the input nodes in Motion Live to the corresponding character that she was playing. Normally you record into Motive in which you then do a cleanup on the tracks because the cameras around the soundstage sometimes loses sight of the uh, trackers. However, since I was watching it in real time in iClone, I could very easily quickly spot and see if there was an error in the recording. You could instead very quickly just redo the uh, take. And since that option was so quick and handy, we decided to use the uh, recorded data in iClone directly in instead of using the cleaned up data from Motive. So AccuFace has been out for about two months or something now. And uh, personally, I'm really in love with it. It's so fun and easy to use. The fact that you can use both pre-recorded videos if you really want full control over the uh, capture, but also using the webcam input such as we're doing in this case with the iPhone streaming directly into iClone. One question we had while doing these tests was which is the most efficient way to record and then save safely the clips that we're recording. And the way we found worked the best was to simply record everything from the actors in one massive timeline, one clip after each other. One of my main concerns was would this crash iClone if we had so much data and so many keyframes? And thankfully, it didn't. I think we recorded up towards 20,000 uh, frames, and we didn't get a single dropped frame during those recordings. After the recording session was over, I then went back and collected the clips in the timeline, one after each other, and then saved them to a custom scene folder in the Motion Plus folder in the content library. I think one of the major overlooked features in iClone is the expression mapping panel. Our facial performance capture artists could do like a smirk with the mouth, like this. 
And using the expression mapping panel, you could map that muscle to raise the eyebrow instead. So when the actor did this, the character raised its eyebrows. Using this technique, we could clean up the capture in ways that would otherwise take so much time. So for example, we had the eyes uh, twitching. And the way I solved this was to simply mask out the right eye and then copy the transforms from the left eye to the right eye. So yeah, this probably wasn't as educational as my tutorials usually are. This was more of a brief overview and my initial experience of using iClone 8 together with AccuFace and OptiTrack. So I'm very impressed by what Relution has done with iClone and the many new feature that has come in the last few months. So well done, Relution. This was a very technically information heavy uh, video. So let me know if I missed anything in the workflow that you're wondering and curious about. And as always, thank you so much for watching and goodbye. Thank you.